Welcome to this video overview of using the returns detail and summary views in SureTax. In this tutorial, we will cover how to access and use these two views to organize your returns. After logging into SureTax and selecting the business you're going to work with, you can reach the returns module from the menu. When the return screen opens, you land on the returns detail page, which tells you about the filings that are due this month. Put another way, this is your list of work that needs to be completed. One of the first things you'll notice on this screen is the list of months running down the left side. These are your filing periods, and you can select from this list to display the month you want to work with. For our tutorial today I'm going to select April, which shows the April returns due for March transactions. Changing the filing period presents you with a list of returns that are due in the month selected. By default, SureTax displays the current filing period. The next items on this screen you'll notice are the clickable boxes at the top. These boxes show important information about the filing period as a whole, but they can also be used as filters of this information. When you select one of the boxes, whether the one for all returns due, only the ones that are not set to filed status, or past due, the returns grid is filtered to only show you returns that meet that criteria. We're going to have a look at the returns due in the current month. So here's our list of returns, organized as a grid. Each return has its own row and running across the screen you can see important information for each return at a glance. Let's walk through the columns and look at what information we can find there. First is Tax Authority, or Form, which tells you which tax authority you're working with, and the form number. Next, we see the period that your return covers, which is important to reconciling your data. If this is a monthly form, you'll see the month that the form covers. So for example, here we have March 2020, indicating that the form covers the March 2020 period. If the form is quarterly, or annual, you will see something along the lines of Q2, or A2, 2020. The next piece of information is the due date, which simply indicates the date that the return is due. Tax calculated is next. This number is important if you like to review your forms at a high level, and it represents the total amount of taxes due with the form. So if for example your return has $100 due this month, you will see $100 in this column. Moving along, we have return status. This indicates to other members on your team, or just to yourself, what has been done with the filing thus far. It will say not reconciled, reconciled, or filed. The final column is the actions column. The ellipses in this column are what you click to perform actions on the returns, and this subject will be covered in a separate video. For now, having become more familiar with the detail view, Let's take a look at the summary view. Although it contains all of the same information as the details tab, the summary tab is laid out differently using cards that are grouped by state. Each state grouping contains cards for all returns currently due in that state. Notice that the information on these cards is laid out differently, but each card has the action ellipses on it, so that you can work with them essentially in the same way you would in the details view. Now I'll click the Walters Clue or logo to return to the Short Tax dashboard. I hope that this overview has given you a good feel for the return screen and all that you can do on it. Experiment and find what works best for you, but know that Short Tax has you covered with all of the information you need to complete your monthly filing process. Thanks for watching our video on returns detail and summary views in Short Tax.